everybody. This is John from John Boys Catfishing. I really didn't know there was people that didn't know how to skin a catfish. But I'm fishing with a little fella, teaching him how to, how to fish, how to catfish, how to take his fish off. But he don't know how to skin a catfish. And I never thought about it. So I'm going to show you there's a couple of ways that you can skin a catfish. One, you can take him and right here on the fins, right under the fin there, I don't know if you can see it, but right under the fin right there, there's a little bone. You take your catfish skinners, you can get them at Walmart, they're not expensive. You take and you snap that bone and you take and you, usually it works better than, let go of my finger. Take and pull that skin down. You gotta excuse my, my grip on my left hand ain't real good. Then you come over on the other side, do the same thing. You grab that skin where that bone is. Boy, when I was younger, this was easier. And you pull that skin down. Make sure you got somewhere you can throw your skin away. And you just pull that skin off. And that's one way. And if you don't want to hold them, if you don't want to hold them with your hand, you can take your nail, drive it into a post or a tree, whatever you want to hang it on. Take right here under the lip of the catfish, right here. Take your knife, cut you a hole, move me new, cut you a hole in that lip so you can hang him on there and then pull down. It's actually easier, but just for demonstration, I'm doing it this way. You can hold them in your hand and do it. And after you pull your skin off, come right here, this top fin, the top fin on the catfish, take it and break it and pull it off. Then you turn it over. You got a little V here, skin on the stomach. You see that white skin on there? All right, moving it new. That's my little cat, she wants a fish. Take that skin, pull it up, pull it up toward the head. See there? Take that skin, pull it up toward the head. Then you take your knife, you cut it right along that skin across the stomach like that then you got it cut see then you you break that bone and you twist it and the head comes right off it's easy it, it's not hard but like I said, if you don't want to hold them, if you don't want to hold them in your hand, put your nail in the tree, and you hang your catfish, you break that bone right there under the, under the fin on the side, and you pull your skin down. Do it on both sides. 
and a lot of times it'll come right off in one piece. Sometimes it wants to be hard, but most of the time, if if you pull both sides down and you get it past that top pin, then you can grab it and pull it down. And right now, I'm just I'm just taking the catfish skinners and what guts was left inside. I'm pulling them out with the with the skinner. And there you go. Nice clean fish ready to take in the house, wash off, and fry it up. All right. Number two. You don't really have to go under that fin, go under that fin there where that bone is and snip it and pull it off. What you can do is just take your knife, make you a, a small split on both sides of the fish, on both sides. And then if you got it hanging on the tree, you just take that skin where you made that so small split. Mm, this one's a little hard. You just take it and pull it down. See, you pull it down to where it's just past this top fin. Then you come over here on this side. You do the same thing. You pull it down. See how easy that skin coming off of there? I like to catch it on both sides and get it started and then pull and see if that skin wasn't tore, if I'd have pulled it a little further on this side, that skin skid would have come right on off of there. And now you got it skinned. And that's all you gotta do. Take that top fin off. And remember the belly. You got that little piece of skin right there. Just catch it, pull it up, and then just like I showed you, take your knife, cut it to the bone, then break it and twist it. And your head comes right off. Then you take your knife, split the belly open, and to get that that right there, I don't know if y'all can see it, but that dark red spot right there is called a catfish liver. Down south, where Jeremy Dufour lives, Creole catfishing, on the bigger catfishes, you can take that liver and fry it, and it's a poor man's oyster. They're really good, but you need a uh, five, ten pound and bigger catfish, which I don't keep nothing for eating. I don't keep nothing for eating. See there, I got that fish clean. I don't keep anything over 10 pounds. So if the liver ain't big enough in a 10 pound catfish, then I don't have poor man oysters. Cause I'm not gonna keep a 20, 25 or above catfish 
just to get the livers out to have poor man oysters, which they're really good. They are. They're fried. When you fry them up, man, they they almost taste just like an oyster, close as you can get without having one. And they're really good. Now, I've got oh, I don't know, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I probably got about twelve catfish here that I've got to clean because I went, me and my wife went yesterday for about, oh, I don't know, three, four hours. And we caught about 12, maybe 14 catfish. And I tried to go stream yard. I tried to go stream lab to go live. And I couldn't get neither one of them rascals to work. Now, I could have made a short video like this. My phone will record for, let's see, my phone will record for about 15 minutes before you have to start over. But anyway, I just wanted to, to show two ways, easy ways, to skin a catfish. Uh... I guess I just thought, since I know how, everybody else knows how. But I guess I was wrong because J.W., he, he didn't know nothing about taking, he kind of scared to touch them because he's scared he's going to get pinned. So I showed him a little set of grippers you can get at Walmart. That'll hold up to probably a five-pound catfish. I wouldn't use them for anything over that. But anyway, I showed him how to use them and how to get his hook out. But he didn't know how to skin a catfish. So I said, well, maybe everybody don't know how to skin a catfish. So like I said, you can go right there under that fin on the side, there's a little bone right there under it, right here. You can snip it and then pull your skin down. Or, like I showed on the second fish, cut your little slit on both sides, grab the skin, and pull it down. Take the top fin off, turn it over on that belly. You, it's going to come down to a V, grab it, go up toward the head, and then just cut it around and Break the bone, twist it, and then the head's off of it. Easy as that. Uh, some people, it still may not be easy, but after after you do it a couple of times, it'll work fine. Uh, I'm fixing to have to end this because I'm at 14 minutes and 20 seconds, so it ain't going to be very long it's going to stop anyway. I just wanted to show y'all for those that maybe don't know how or is having trouble. So I'm going to tell you God bless you. Tight lines. And I hope you enjoyed this little video. Got to go. Got to finish skinning these cats. 
and get ready to frown.